Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. Let's get into this. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so um, Taurus, we get some interesting energy here. Um, Okay, emotions are running high. You got a super moon coming up. It says that if you're looking for answers, it could be right under your nose, okay? And also it says that um, whatever you're asking about, it just doesn't come along, um, you know, always. This is like a, uh, a super uh, a, um, super exclusive thing, you know? So you need to take action on it. It could be a person, the way I'm looking at the cards and vice versa. Also, someone needs to take action in terms of you because you, you know, you are, um, you know, super exclusive. Maybe someone uh, slept on you or you slept on someone else. Um, let's get into this. All right. So look, some of you feel like somebody was intimidating because we got the official person card coming out with the courting man so this energy that you experienced you felt like it was intimidating or vice versa this person feels like you are intimidating this also could speak to the fact that someone is married already in a relationship um someone was trying to court you and you just weren't ready for it, or you didn't live up to it or you couldn't live you you know maybe you felt like you weren't valuable enough or um you felt like you you weren't a match this person was out of your league um, maybe even energetically this person still you know loves you okay and they had secret plans to propose marriage to you but it seems as if maybe you or the other person now apply it where it fits um somebody just didn't value anything they didn't value shit you know they didn't value they didn't value value this is very valuable this is an official person this is somebody who wanted to date you exclusively who wanted to be with you, um, provide for you. And it, it may have scared somebody because somebody was so used to promiscuity. Promiscuity can be, you know, defined by an English proverb defines it as many starts. So many starts, several starts, no finishes. So someone was used to, okay. Um, somebody didn't want to talk about that. All right. Someone was used to, um, Starting relationships, never finishing, n making sure that they were all short term. But somebody was looking at you or vice versa. You were looking at someone for the long term, the long haul. You were looking at them, you know, like I'm courting this person for marriage. Uh, but somebody was lazy as fuck. Okay. And um, couldn't get it together. Also, somebody was just a cheater and promised and they were promiscuous. Okay. Um, we even have, you know, oh man, I gotta get that card. Um, well, we already talked about the super moon, so I kind of don't have to get it. Somebody was even the town whore. Okay. They were getting around. Okay. Um, especially if you're in a small town, you know, uh, things were getting back to the other person. They were getting back to you, Taurus. Um, Somebody just wasn't faithful, okay, is not faithful, doesn't have the capacity to be faithful. At this point, they can be experiencing a level of bad luck. This could be you or the other person. Someone got fired from the job. Um, somebody has some unruly ass children. I mean, they are uncaring, disobedient, loud, just bad altogether. The reason why Taurus, you or this other person is going through this is because they have not healed. You know, healing is the answer. Someone has not healed. Promiscuity is not the issue. That is, um, you know, a branch from the tree of what the issue really is. That is, um, that is a symptom of something. So somebody needs to heal here. Um, somebody is pissed poor morally. Uh, also could be just poor in poverty because you do have the, um, prosperity lies ahead card, but this card talks about needing to start a saving a savings account and no matter how small you contribute you need to contribute to it you need to take some time out to pamper you soon you will be able to afford that thing that you uh, want to buy the thing you're dreaming of um 
get clear on what you value most. Some of you are materialistic. You buy things you aren't supposed to have, not with the dollar amount that's in your bank account, um, and vice versa. Somebody else is doing this. It could be you, Taurus. It could be someone else. So once again, back to value. We did have the card of, um, you know, I don't value shit. So somebody just doesn't value anything. Um, therefore, they're, they're not holding on to anything. Things keep slipping through their hands. There is a, a man here who's in deep concern about you, Taurus, or vice versa. This is you, okay? Uh, they're almost slipping into depression about this relationship. We got the house card, and this house card stands for a relationship. They're in deep depression about this um, partnership relationship, uh, maybe because you guys are separated. They have to make a decision, or they did make a decision. A decision is to go in and make an incision and cut away. So maybe they cut you away, you cut them off. I don't know. Um, but somebody's in uh, slipping into depression about this. Um, yeah. As as I say that, we have the um, the lovesick over you card. Somebody can't even get out of bed. There's an energy of just somebody just d can't even keep steady work. I don't know. It just seems as if somebody's very official, has their shit together, and then there's just like a low life bum type person who that they're pining over, who they're they can't get over. They really want this. <clears throat> I think if this is your story, whatever side you're on, if you're the person who has your shit together and you're pining over a bum, you need to heal. If you're the bum who has the official person and you're taking them for granted and you have taken them for granted and you cut them off and you're wondering you know who can help you uh, is right under your nose the official person but you need to do the healing you need to do the healing work okay because you don't value anything you have value right in front of you you didn't value it um if you want to come back to this person the cards are saying believe in the impossible it can happen once in a blue moon this is what I have for you, Taurus. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link or Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care, guys.